Hi everyone, it's Scott Smith in sunny Southern California. Hey, this will be the first of a series of videos I want to do, basically the how-to videos. So today I wanted to have Lauren show you guys how to do the active cruise control and uh, our lane keeping assistant here on a brand new 2020 X5 M50. So let's jump in. Let's have some fun with this car. Hi Lauren. Hi, how are you? Doing great. Let me get my seat belt on first while holding the camera. Bam. Okay, first off, everyone, this is Lauren, BMW Genius. All right. And where can we follow you at, Lauren? I'm at BMW Lauren on Instagram. Cool. Okay, let's get started on this feature here. We're going to start. We got the, the activation and customizing buttons here on the left side of the steering wheel. Lauren's going to show you. So we have, this car has driver assistance professional with active cruise control to stop and go. So when I press this button here, it's going to come up on my dash, which one I'm going to use. The one that's on the left, that's lit, uh, excuse me, the right that's ri uh, lit up right now is actually with um, lane keep assist. And then the one on the left is a standard cruise control with the distance keeping or, you know, active cruise control. Stop. So you can switch between which one you want. Great, and what else do we, and what do these different buttons do here? And this is to set the distance between yourself and another car. You're gonna see bars, and once we get in the freeway, we'll show you, that it's basically, you'll see four bars, and one bar indicates, I would say, about like three cars length. Um, Somewhere right around there. Yeah, okay. and then you, this, this is obviously for the speed. If you press it gently, it goes up by one mile. If you press it up all the way, it goes up by five miles. And then if you press the brake manually, because it does have the you know, the distance keeping, you can press this to resume what you were last doing. And uh, this is an M50i, so here's the speed limiter here if you want to, you know, warn yourself from going over 100 miles an hour here. So, <laughs> And then, of course, this is to set it. And then you can press this button again to turn it off, which I've done right now. Oh, great. Okay, so it's currently off. Well, great. Let's mm -hmm. get started. Lauren's going to take us over to the freeway. So we'll do this at normal speeds just to show you how the feature works. Yeah, we're in a 2020 X5 M50. Um, cars now for the 2020 model has been jumped up to 523 horsepower, 553 foot-pounds of torque. BMW's got it rated at 0 to 60 at 4.1 seconds. So it's definitely a fun car to show off some of the um, advanced systems that BMW has available. And you can see this nice 12.3 inch uh, display here for our center console for all your different communications, navigation, music, basically anything you possibly want to do in the car. Then you've also got the same size big digital display over there with your tack and your speed on the outer edges. And then there's multiple different features and things you can have up there too. So we're heading towards the freeway. Guess what time is it? It's about 440 here in California. Lauren's gonna have a little fun with the car because it does stick like glue. <laughs> oh yeah. It's one thing about going from A to B, huh, Lauren? You definitely always want to have fun in a BMW. It doesn't have to be boring. I mean, it's uh, hard not to want to because the car, you can feel it just wants to go. Wants to jump. So All we're right. gonna put it back into just comfort mode. And then Lauren will get out here to a nice lane where she can have fun. And then we're going to set up the system too here. Crazy. So I'm yeah. just going to set my cruise control now. And I'm going to press set. And then now I'm going to increase the speed to 75. There you go. Um, I set it. And then I basically, you can, can you see the bars on the head-up display? Let's show them the heads-up display. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. Yeah. I know it's flickering a little bit. Yeah. You guys can kind of see, and then you can set up the distance. So as she's catching up to this car in front of her, you'll see there's a maximum distance, and then you can move it to what you like, you know, what you're comfortable with the distance from mm -hmm. the vehicle. Now I'm gonna set the. Actually, I'm not when I'm right next to this car. For me personally, I do not, or I will not be using uh, on a daily drive. The lane keeping assistant. I don't like it. I like to drive the car. I mean, it's a BMW, wants to be driven, but it's a very nice feature for like long drives. So I guess I'll try it now. So I'm going to switch the mode over to assisted driving. So you see, it keeps me in my lane. 
Yeah, and it does. And say it, it lets me know, you know, to put my lot. hands back on the steering wheel, mm -hmm. basically. Uh, I, I think it's like somewhere around 10 seconds, and then it'll remind you. Like for a lot of people, it's kind of scary. See, now it's blinking yellow, and I'm gonna put my hands back on the wheel. And you can show them that. So let's go ahead and take your hands off again, but show them the green wheel over there in the dash. Right there. Yeah, just kind of show them. Yeah, it's underneath the speed. But see how it's yellow, and now it's saying. Now it'll go to red and beep. So it will eventually, you know, tell you, hey, so, you see, do now need I'm breaking. To take I'm, I'm not doing that myself. Yeah. So the car's all breaking by itself. So, and right now it's kind of busy, so we got a lot of people heading home. But a really nice system, I think. And obviously, you know, for most people that do a lot of driving. Now, the, the you know, the assisted driving or lane keeping assistant is, you know, definitely something to get used to. Usually we like having a little bit more control. And it's really something that you have to activate. So, you know, when you get on the freeway and it's going to be a long drive or whatever, it is nice to have just in case you do drop something or something happens and you do have to take your hands off the wheel. It's definitely a, a nice feature to have. I personally really like um, the active cruise control. I mean, especially in a 530E. I was actually delivering uh, a 530E to Santa Barbara, and I used the active cruise control, and I really liked it. And in a hybrid car especially, it really helps to maximize your, you know, your electric range, basically, and what you've got. But it's really, sometimes you don't always feel like driving aggressively. Even if you're driving a car like this, sometimes you just want to relax, and that's when I think that the active cruise control really becomes very, super convenient and it's yeah. just a really great feature to have especially an i3 i don't think I, if i were to get an i3 it would have to have the active cruise control feature it's a nice feature yeah. yeah i had it on a previous bmw and definitely enjoyed it and i had a short trip home maybe about 10 miles mm -hmm. so it was really nice to be able to have that feature even though it was maybe on the freeway for seven miles mm -hmm. just to be able to set that active for cruise sure. control knowing that i have that system there in case someone you know steps on the brakes and i'm not paying attention so thanks for everybody uh, watching. Just wanted to kind of fill you in on how to activate and set that feature for you on your um, on your new BMW or you know one that you've had for a couple years. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you. Bye, everyone.